Lifting Up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. He wonders if there is any significance about the face cloth mentioned in John 20, verse 7, not lying with the linen wrappings, and obviously that discredits the Turin shroud. Also, is there any significance in the garment that the Lord wore on the cross being seamless, John 19, 23. It's hard to imagine a seamless garment. We couldn't afford that wardrobe. The clothes are too expensive. The best designer in Hollywood or Savile Row in London couldn't get you the kind of garments you need to get into the marriage supper of the Lamb. It is a rich man's garment. Well, it's a picture of the garments of salvation that Jesus clothes, clothes us with. That is the idea of the seamless robe. Now, of course, the money preachers have taken this and they tried to argue, you see, Jesus only wore designer suits and things like this and he was rich. And all. This was, of course, nonsense. Um, but there is a spiritual significance in, in the fact that it was seamless, that it was woven from a single piece of fabric. It was not stitched as other garments that would be less costly would have been at that particular time. Um, and even today, as best I know, I, you know, if you have a customized suit made, well, they may get it from the same uh, roll of fabric, but it's still cut and it's still pieced together. Um, to have a seam, perfectly seamless garment would be quite a task, yet that's what Jesus has.